In this road to glory, my name's Scott Davidson, and I just transferred to Lumen Christie, one of the best private schools in Michigan. As a 6'8 quarterback who could throw a quarter mile and outrun a deer, everyone told me I had a chance for bigger and better things than the small farm town I was born in. But it was immediately obvious on our first third down of the season that I was new here, and I had zero chemistry with anybody on the team yet. It was exciting, though. On the very next drive, our first completion of the year was to the right sideline for a huge gain, and then Coach trusted me on fourth and two to pick up the gritty yard. I took a huge hit, but it was okay, as I do over my first touchdown pass to Michael Weisbecker right over the middle. Alex Howell was open up the seam on our next drive, and he was someone who I kind of really liked throwing to in practice, and I felt like I'd be able to connect with him a lot in games. I'm able to show off my legs as I scramble up the middle for another touchdown, and then again as we scramble to the sidelines and then deliver another dot to Alex. He seemed to know exactly what I was thinking almost at all times. I throw somebody off of me here, throw another player off of me, but eventually end up eating a giant sack, unfortunately, and then we throw a really bad pick. I'm a little bit worried about our offensive line this season, but right now it's not too much of a worry as we're pretty much doing whatever we want on offense. Michael Weisbecker with another catch, and he he gets a touchdown out of it. I had a pretty decent game right here. Not the best ever, but we get some interest from some local colleges, and I'm really excited. My goal in week number two was to absolutely assert my dominance doing whatever I wanted, and Michael Weisbecker helped me do that on this huge touchdown gain. And then an absolute dot to Gio Saria. He held on in traffic, and I was super impressed by that. I end up running between the tackles, which is something with my 6'8 frame, a lot of people question whether or not I could do, and we even score a rushing touchdown off a little loop de dupe Now, I do have an issue of trying to do too much sometimes. I'm a little bit of a gunslinger, and we took a bad penalty, but Bill Wilson right open over the middle for a huge touchdown, and then again, my legs show off right here, but we get a little cocky. I end up hurting my head coming down on this hurdle, and we fumbled the ball. We got the ball right back, scored another rushing touchdown, and the team was electric after this W. I had nearly 500 total yards, and I got my first scholarship offer from a school that was actually pretty close to home. St. Joseph was 0-2 and they were a school that even at my old school, I felt like we could beat pretty easily. I got a little too cocky and threw a really bad interception. Coach was not happy with me and I was pretty upset myself. Our defense got us the ball back and I launched an absolute bomb deep downfield. We ended up catching it. I was so mad that I decided to go hurry up and take the ball myself right up the middle for a gate of nine and then again off the right side all the way down to about the two. I was mad that I couldn't get in but I decided to hand it off to our fullback even though I wanted to take it myself so badly again try to be too much of a gunslinger I tried doing way too much and we throw another terrible pick I am so lucky though that my worst game came against a team like St. Joseph that was so bad and again our offensive line lets people come in so easily I'm able to evade them but there's just not much I can do when I'm getting hit immediately. Alex Howell and I had become pretty good friends, so I was a little bit disappointed that he never really seemed to get open, but Gio Saria was having the game of his lifetime. As I rushed in for another touchdown, this game was nationally televised, and I got another scholarship offer afterwards. Week four was here, and while I was blessed to receive the offers I had, I wanted more. And this made me play way too aggressive against Alma, where I immediately fumbled on the first drive, and then only up seven coming out of half, I threw a terrible pick six, and I didn't know what I was doing. Coach threatened to bench me, and I knew if we didn't pick up this third and 17, that I was probably done for the game. So what do I do? I do over an absolute laser deep down the middle of the field for a huge gain, and then immediately follow that up by one of the nicest throws that's going to get me on the radar of every single college coach that sees it. They blow their coverage over the middle of the field, and this just goes to show how lethal I am with my arm of being able to hit receivers in stride for huge gains. Now, again, with my legs, I'm able to pick up a nice little scamper and then toss it out to Howell for a really good gain. I was playing with so much passion that even when I got sacked, I refused to get sacked. Our stat line for this game wasn't insane, but I think college coaches like my resiliency as a ton of schools from around the country started offering me. Coming off that extremely good second half performance last week, I wanted to prove that I could be consistently one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, not just to college coaches, but to my literal teammates. I'm able to hit right up the seam and then I'm able to use my legs for a huge gain. I wanted to show everybody that I was every single game one of the best quarterbacks and not just a streaky player like I'd started to get the reputation of. We scramble out to the right side on fourth and goal and right before half I'm able to punch it in and this was just such a testament to how gritty I was able to play. Able to outrun the DN who's trying to get me and this is something
something that you just can't teach this type of thing. Now, I think I got a horse collar right there, but they didn't call anything. Coach took me out because I was a little bit sore, and we end up getting so many huge offers, and I accomplished the goal of proving myself to some of these college coaches. The playoffs were just over two weeks away, and now my only goal was to make sure that we were so ready to perform well in the playoffs and become state champions. I was starting to get a little stressed out about making my college decisions, so I put all of that behind me. A lot of people are wondering if I'm going to stay home, if I'm going to go back to the small town and go to college near there, whether I'm going to go to the big Michigan University. I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. I got player of the game with nearly 500 total yards, and I finally broke the ESPN top 150 at rank 123. The final game of the season was against some school from out of state named Bishop Sycamore. Now, these guys couldn't tackle at all, but also I couldn't throw the ball at all, and I just looked like a total idiot. Now, we end up eating a sack, and I'm having, again, offensive line issues and frustrations, which leads to me throwing one of the worst pick sixes of my career. I have this issue of when I throw a pick, it goes back for six, which isn't a great issue. Now, Alex is going to make a great player out there. He absolutely read my mind going up the field, and I'm able to hit him in the seam right after that. And it's so nice to see him get back on track after a few quiet weeks. The speed option is something that I don't love running still, but we're able to get it, and my legs are able to be utilized for another touchdown. I show off my arm again to Alex, and he had one of his career games. Unfortunately, he didn't score on that one, so we had to call another pass play from the one. And I watched as... Bishop Sycamore lost by over 27 points, and we sacked him to end the game. We had an awesome game right here, and I became a five-star recruit and started getting interest from Texas schools. It was time for the first round of playoffs, and I came out guns a blazing, able to hit my receiver in stride for huge gains. Look at this pass right up the middle against this cover two. It's an absolute dot that we end up scoring on this drive. Unfortunately, while I was doing really well, Alex got blown up on a third and five draw called and ended up fumbling. This took our seven point lead and they ended up tying it up and making it 7-7 when we actually had a chance to take a huge lead. This led to a little bit of a meltdown as the pocket collapsed around me and I ended up taking another sack. Thankfully, our defense actually was the one that ended up scoring for us, but we still had such frustration with the offensive line right before half that I said screw it and just ran the ball and walked off the field angry. Coming out of halftime, though, we saw a huge third and 19 that I ended up making my check down to the flat, and we ended up getting that first down somehow. Alex had another drop, and I gave it to myself here on the goal line to make sure I scored. Our defense got another stop, and I was able to hit our receiver in the middle of the field for another touchdown. We won the game, but I was worried about Alex. I remained a five-star recruit, and I had a pretty decent stat line that game. When the next week rolled around, I could not believe my eyes. I was now ranked the 59th recruit in the country. And our next round, though, was against Ithaca, who gave us some issues in the first week of the season. Coach wanted to establish the ground game early, so that's exactly what we did. And he was right that getting the ground game going was going to get the linebackers to scoot up, and I'd be able to pass right over them. I used my legs, and I'm able to get into the end zone on the sideline with a really impressive run. And then the option actually ends up working with us, where I get it to Bill Wilson for a huge gain, which is honestly... Honestly, that option's so tough for me to run, so I was really happy that we were able to get it. Uh, absolute laser over the middle of the field again. So many teams try to hit us with cover two, and we're so able to exploit it. Now, right before half, less than two minutes left, we're only up eight points. We get a huge ag on the right sideline. He absolutely mossed the defender, and we have to take advantage of it, but... I end up choking. I get blown up in the backfield and lose the ball. Thankfully, our defense strikes right back and gets us the ball. And just a tail as old as time, we're able to hit the middle of the field for a touchdown. I watch us take a 18-point lead, and that seals the deal. I have another great game, and now it is time for the next round of the playoffs, the semifinals. Marshall was a team that I honestly felt like shouldn't be here, and I wanted to make sure that they knew that. I launched myself into the end zone, but came up a little bit short, and that kind of hurt a little bit. So I got Alex going with a nice little toss, and he scored the two-yard rushing touchdown. We dropped back again, and this time we're delivering another laser into such a tight pocket over the middle of the field, and my legs are able to get me all the way down to the one-yard line. Unfortunately, that was the end of the half, so we didn't score, but we're up 24 points right here in the third quarter. The offensive line did such a great job right there that we were able our receiver was able to work his way open but that was really on our offensive line I rush in for another touchdown and the team is so happy we're going to the state championship I had an awesome game and now it's time to finish what we started the state championship was of course held in the big house which made me start thinking again about where am I gonna end up going to college there's so many different places I could stay in state and a lot of people are expecting me to go here to U of M coach dials up an awesome play action call on the eight yard line that gets dropped in the court of the end 
end zone. So we're only up three after our first possession. It was really nice to see, though, Alex getting open in the middle of the field as we needed him to play well to have a good chance of winning this game and solidify both of our chances to get into college. Another triple option call gets me a wide open lane into the right corner of the end zone. And with only a few seconds left in half, up 17, Alex gets separation and we're able to throw an absolute laser to him. I watched the final seconds tick off the clock as a backup quarterback commanded the offense and we became state champions. Handshakes, hugs, and kisses all around, boys. We have done what we're looking to do, but now it's time for me to make a decision.